hello guys welcome back to the channel theo here today we are going to install my suspension onto the cayman s i am very excited so let's go ahead and do that if you watch a few videos in the past you will know that i purchased the hnr vtf kit that um, I wanted, I'm planning to install on this car. The reason I chose that specific suspension is simply because you know the front you can actually adjust the height, but that's not really the one that I wanted to purchase for this car. I wanted to install the Porsche Sport suspension, also called X73 suspension, but because that is back order on to a date that you know no one knows, only Porsche knows, I decided that I couldn't wait and wanted to have a different set instead. And to kind of match with that, because the X7 trick, when you purchase it, it comes with sway bars. I also purchased, you know, front and back sway bars that um, I'm planning to install on the car. I already installed the back. I'm waiting on the front. So when the front comes, I'm going to install the front sway bar. Now, right now, it's really a time to go ahead and install the suspension to kind of lower this gap that you see right there this is a very very big gap i want to lower the car make sure that it has a proper stance just like a nice sport car that it is you know see the e46 drop that's kind of what i want to achieve with the cayman s i'm not going to do the job myself so i'm going to take it to a shop for them to complete it so let's go ahead and drive to gt performance I'm currently driving in regular mode, exhaust flaps are closed, and the car is quiet, I like it, suspension is good, I'm going to definitely compare on the return trip, see how that HRVTF feels, if it feels like stock, if it is, you know, a little stiffer or anything, all I'm installing is just springs, so it shouldn't be too much different, but I just want to have the drop, and if I can keep the same ride quality, I will be content with that, you know, that will be excellent for me. Enjoy the nice scenery here as I'm driving. The short shifter kit, it's wonderful, man. It's making the car very more um, enjoyable. The shifting are even crispier than they were before and I love it. I, I definitely love it, man. About to take Baltimore Harbor Tunnel, you know what I mean. Spot plus, roll both window down. And hell yeah, let's send it. GT performance here in Bel Air and this is my car so pretty much what I'm trying to achieve here it's minimize this gap right here so I want to lower here by about 20 millimeter same thing on the back so that's gonna bring this wheel arch probably somewhere here and it's gonna really enhance the stance of course I'm gonna gain a little bit of negative camber by doing that but it's fine it's always good looking and yeah man there are so much beautiful cars here inside they have truck cars these are people that you know truck their Porsches and uh, hopefully someday I might take this to the truck yeah looking looking lovely look at it man look at it <laughs> 
I cannot wait to see her dropped. This is crazy. Ooh. Look at all these classics. Good nice old boy. This is nice. I miss my E4 E36. Oh man, this one is missing the transmission. Seems like maybe someone is doing a swap or something. This one was sounding nice. That exhaust is nice. Mm, 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 mm. Bunch of classics here. Pretty sure on the back there, there are some legend cars. Here she goes. Fast forward a few hours and now she is lowered. <laughs> Look at that. Imagine if I did not have the 12 millimeter spacers here on the back, then these wheels would have been way into, I mean, I feel like I can actually go with the 15 millimeter just to kind of like poke it out outside because I feel like it's actually a little bit in. You guys let me know, man, but I love it. I love it. This is nice. Look at the front. I think the front is about there, man. This is it. It's got the wheel spacer right here. Ooh. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I drove about 20 miles on the new suspension and it feels amazing. The ride quality is not so different from the base stock suspension that I had. And man, I went into bumps, it felt like just like before. That's exactly what I was chasing and hoping to get. Oh man, this is a not good area to actually talk about. All right, there you go. As I was saying, the suspension is not different than before. Maybe a light, slightly, slightly, slightly stiffer, just tiny bit stiffer. And it's good, you know, this is a sport car, so you expect a little bit of stiffness. And it's still nice, you know, cruising and you don't feel bump as much because remember I had the base suspension so it's not too strong, it's not too stiff, it's really like a really nice suspension and bumps, you feel them a little bit just like before. The change is not drastic so it's like a tiny bit of change in terms of stiffness and a big change in terms of, you know, drop. I love it. I love it. I know that the suspension is going to take some time to settle it a little bit more. Anyway, as I was stating, cruising back home now, the people at GT Performance are awesome. 
they were pretty booked but they found a way to fit me into the schedule and complete my job in a few hours and now I'm a happy customer going home. If I was tracking this car heavily, I would have chose a different type of suspension, not just a lowering spring. I would have chose, you know, chosen a uh, a coilover. But because this is mainly a you know, street road drive, I just wanted a drop and maybe a little bit of stiffness. That's why I was chasing the X73 because it was a good combination of track and street. I love it. I love it. I finally made it home. Man, what an amazing ride. Look at the ride height again. It's looking superb. I love it. But I feel like the wheels are a little bit inside the wheel well. I might have to change my spacers to something a little more, you know, aggressive. Because I definitely want the wheel to come out a little f for further. Because this is this is kind of how it was, but I have to take in mind that into consideration that you know I might be rubbing also, so I might do a little research. But I'm not too satisfied with the way the wheels is right now. I wish that it would be like poking a little bit further here on the front. What do you guys think? Let me know. I definitely think that maybe either I go with wider wheels or wider tire or i just put spacers i'm going to see what combination is great but i love the drop i know it's going to drop even further once everything settles so at the end i might have to raise the front a little bit because as you can see it's pretty pretty low and i do not even have a front lip that is aggressively low <laughs> the back here again same thing i might have to add maybe a 15 millimeter spacers to kind of bring the wheel further out because right now that wheel is being swallowed by the car and that's on 12 millimeter spacers right now imagine if i didn't have the 12 it would be completely inside so i have now negative 2.39 camber on the back i can't recall what i had at the front because i have received an alignment after the job was completed yeah man i love it Woo! this is perfect now it looks like a sports car and it is super super low now getting in the car and getting out of the car is a little challenging i got used to the car being low but this is the lowest i've ever been in any car once the e46 is parked here i'm going to compare both of them to see which one is lower because my E46 was lower than my F80 and now this I feel is lower than the E46. So once they're side to each other, I'm going to really, you know, measure and see how far in terms of the front right here. Imagine once I have a front lip, this is going to be like way, 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 way low. So I'm even afraid now to have a front lip and I wanted to install a front lip. So I might have to raise the front a tiny bit just to get some clearance right here but the back i cannot adjust the back with the h and r vtf because it, there is no adjustment on the back only on the front but for now i am happy with the back i just have to have wider tires and yeah maybe 275 if i'm changing just the tire if i'm changing the wheels maybe go with the 11 inch wide wheels and so that it can give me a better poke here what do you guys think man let me know what you guys think? The car looks superb. It handles superb. I'm gonna make a video on the review of the HNR VTF after it settles. I'm gonna take again on the drive and just to give you my point of view on how everything feels with the base suspension added with the VTF HNR VTF springs. So my name is Theo. Thank you for watching the video, and I hope you like. Make sure that you subscribe, comment, and. Uh, See you on the next video. Bye-bye.